Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. Welcome to the most in-depth, most comprehensive content series on the 2545 Sharps. What is 2545 Sharps? Well, it's a chambering for the AR-15 platform that's targeted at better knockdown power for big game like deer and antelope. The AR-15 rifle platform is a great platform for personal defense, target shooting and competition, and hunting. A lot of guys use the AR-15 for coyote hunting and other similar types of hunting. But when you step up to something like deer, you need something with a little more knockdown power. The 2545 Sharps, in short, is essentially 223 necked up to 25 caliber, approximately 6.5 millimeter. What this means is you get similar recoil to a traditional AR-15 with 223. You get similar energy, but you get much better momentum. The momentum translates to better knockdown power. In this content series, we're going to cover everything from the 2545 Sharps chambering to rifles to hand loading to performance and hunting. There's going to be a lot to cover, so I hope that you'll join me for the entire series. Now, to kick things off, I want to introduce you to my new rifles. The Sharps Rifle Company offers a bunch of different options for 2545 Sharps if you want to either convert or get a standalone AR-15. The good news is you can do a simple barrel swap out on your upper. You can use the same bolt, the same magazines, the same lower. It's pretty much a barrel swap and you're done. But if you don't want to do a barrel swap, Sharps offers premium complete rifle packages. What I want to do is show you the Range Master and the Field Master. So the Range Master is the first one I want to show you here and it's essentially their, their baseline rifle package. So you've got the rifle obviously and the ejection port cover has this cool laser engraving on it that says 2545 sharps both on the inside and on the outside. We've also got a PMAG 20, 20 round magazine. And you notice when you go to put this in, you see 2545 sharps on both the ejection port cover and the magazine, which is a bit of a, a safety measure because it uses the same magazines as, as 223. So you wanna make sure you're using the right ammunition in the right rifle. So let's unstrap the rifle here. I kinda of like the fact that it's held secure in the case. It's not gonna be floating around. We've got a, uh, a traditional collapsible butt stock. We've got a 16 inch 416R stainless barrel with polygonal rifling and one in 10 twist. A2 flash hider. We've got a diamond head, free floated handguard, low profile gas block. The handguard has key mod system on this particular uh, variety. This range master comes with flip up sights, which is, which is nice. And there's also some nice features when we, when we open up the rifle. Okay, so the bolt is closed. Let's pull the pins and see what we've got here. Okay, so Sharps has a couple nice AR-15 exclusives. The first is the balanced bolt carrier. This has an MP3 corrosion resistant coating on it, which is, is really nice. And this, this bolt carrier has been engineered with the dynamics of the AR-15 rifle in mind to optimize those dynamics, the kinetics of the bolt cycling for enhanced reliability. There's also the Reliabolt itself, which has customized geometry to help clear debris so that you can go into battery more confidently, more reliably, and have less malfunctions. So the fit and the finish on this rifle is, is outstanding. It's got a lot of nice features. The Range Master comes by default with a mil-spec trigger, so that's gonna be seven and a half pounds pull. I've actually got an extra ALG act trigger I might throw in there. It's a great thing about the AR-15 platform. You can customize to suit your particular needs. So that's the Range Master. And what I also have is another 25 45 Sharps rifle, which is the Field Master. The Field Master is gonna add to this baseline rifle package. So let's close this rifle up 
and take a look at the Fieldmaster. Okay, so here's the Fieldmaster, same case. Very similar rifle. Uh, the, the key differences here are we've got a CMC three and a half pound trigger and we've got a 20 inch stainless barrel, still 416R. There's a bunch of different options. I like the, the bare finish on this one. Uh, I'll note that both rifles have 5 8 by 24 threading on the muzzle, which is really nice because I'm planning on using these with muzzle accessories, namely suppressors. Suppressed hunting sounds like a good deal to me, not having to worry about hearing protection or hearing damage and not spooking the wildlife. And that's a great thing about hunting with an AR-15 is you got that ability to have follow-up shots. And if you're using a suppressor, you're gonna be able to do that uh, with minimal, minimal spooking of the wildlife. So again, we've got the laser engraved PMAG. Looks really nice on there. Uh, same, same bolt carrier, same reliable on this one. They both have the, the forward assist. This is, this is a really nice rifle, and I'm really looking forward to shooting both of these and really working up some great loads, hopefully getting some great hunting results. So I think at this point, it's time to try out the Range Master. I've got flip-up sights. We can go ahead and shoot that straight away with no optics. Well, here we go. I'm looking forward to this. Just a simple five-shot test group. Let's see, uh, let's see how she does. Okay, got my stock adjusted here. I really like these diamond sights here. Wow. Definitely not heavy recoil at all, that's for sure. And uh, my group was okay. I got to get used to the rifle and I uh, got to get used to these sights for field work. I think these should be good for close quarters hunting. You know, maybe if you're hunting hogs or something like that, they'd be perfect. I'm also going to have some optics in various ranges. I've got uh, a Vortex optic for this guy that's gonna be more close range, low magnification. And then for the Fieldmaster, we're gonna go with a more traditional four to 16 optic. So that's the plans at this point. We'll see how the series evolves. It's gonna be a ton of fun. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the action that I'm bringing you on Ultimate Reloader, please subscribe to my channel. Lots more fun coming. I hope that you'll join me. Until then, happy shooting and happy reloading.